Well, the studio vlog totally got away from me. My last video entry was, look at my calendar, because it was that long ago. Oh my gosh. Okay, it was over two weeks ago. <laughs> but the digital organization uh, job that I talked about previously was a big job and it took basically about two weeks, almost three weeks. Um, but I wrapped that up and I'm getting ready to send it to the client. Um, and so now I get to focus on shop stuff. Finally, it's taken me a little bit. And this morning I sat down because I felt like I had so many ideas running through my head, but I just brought out a simple notebook and I just kind of like brain dumped all the things that I want to get into the shop before the end of the year. The main thing is redating the digital planner for 2024. And right now I don't really have like one style in my digit in my Etsy shop and then I have two free planners. And so I've got to just figure out what I want to put out as the free downloads and then what is going to be in the shop. Right now what I'm thinking and this probably will change but I'm thinking a 2024 planner in my normal minimalistic blush and black style that's really popular. I have been loving this principal planner that I created. My husband is a paper planner and so we needed a paper version of a planner even though I'm a digital planner. And I love the way that it came out. Let me show you one that doesn't have anything on there. There's stuff in every one of these. Okay, I'll show you this one. Uh, but basically it's a PDF that you can print and then use a mushroom hole punch and these removable discs and make your own planner. And I just had the covers laminated. Um, and you can use your own artwork. You can do something like find a printable maybe that you want printed. Anyway, I've been really loving it. I really love this meal planning page and also a notes section. <clears throat> yeah, really, really been loving like this notes section. So this will definitely get into the shop. I just, I kind of want to tweak the fonts a little bit, the colors. I thought it'd be really fun to have it kind of go with the seasons. So fall colors and spring colors and summer color, you know, something like that. So that is on my list for digital goods. I wanted to do like kawaii, little cute little notebooks, like basically kind of like this, but in digital form so that you can use it with good notes. And then definitely a Notion template because that's what I've been using a ton lately is my Notion planner. And I did have a Notion template available, but it's since been taken down from my shop and I want to revamp it, put it back up and create some new sticker packs for digital and then also printing some sticker packs um, for planning. Felt good to kind of get everything down. Um, think about pricing because that's always super hard for me and I'm going to focus right now on the 2024 planner and just get that one ready, get into the shop. I know myself, I know that when I look at this list, it's super overwhelming, but if I just start with one, get it up into the shop, everything just seems to move a lot faster. All right, well, I'm getting sweaty because I had to close the window <laughs> to drown out some of the background noise, um, but it is too hot in Hawaii to not have the window open. So let's get to work on this 2024 planner and I'll check back in with you in a little bit. And already a change of plans because I logged on to my Notion and I realized that I'm not launching the Good Notes planner until the end of October. And right now I need to be working on the Notion template. So we're gonna switch gears and we're gonna work on the Notion template. <laughs> because I wanted to start making some physical products. I usually only do digital ones, but I've been crafting and learning how to make sticker sheets 
and bookmarks and notepads. So I got a couple more supplies that I needed. Um, so the notepads that I've been making are like this. And even though I have my Cricut, I actually didn't prefer using my Cricut. I really liked using or just a ruler and an X-Acto knife, but the ruler I've been using was really obnoxious. And so I just got like this little metal ruler. And then I got like a brayer tool for my Cricut mat um, when doing like the sticker sheets and stuff. Um, I'm trying this matte paper, uh, sticker sheet paper. And what else did I get? Oh, I watched a lot of YouTube videos on how to make die cut stickers waterproof. And a lot of people recommended putting clear vinyl over the sticker sheet. And so I picked up some clear vinyl to try that whole process out. The other thing that I was researching was um, eco-friendly packaging. And I found this one where it's compostable mailers. And so, oh, these are way tinier than I thought they were, but still super cute. I think I could fit um, my bookmarks in here. Let me see. Okay, so here's some of the bookmarks that I made. Okay, I can't fit, oh no, I can. I mean, obviously these would go inside of a protective sleeve, but I think that they would fit perfectly in these little pink mailers and it's totally compostable so yay I'm super happy with these okay so I got those I don't want to order. oh um for the sticker sheets I wanted like a rigid mailer and so these are just like paper cardboard rigid mailers to put my sticker sheets in, which I think I have an example of the sticker sheet. Okay, so I'm still kind of playing around with this whole thing, um, but these are my sticker sheets. I think they're super cute. They might be too small actually for this mailer. Maybe I'll make bigger sticker sheets. Um, these would be really cute in the pink ones though. But yeah, so I'm just kind of experimenting, of course. After I figured out the whole process, my printer started acting up and and I don't know if I need a new printer or if maybe I just need to get new ink. Um, so we'll see, but yay. So I have some mailers and I think the last thing I got doesn't really have anything to do with like, my shop, but in one of my other um, client work jobs, I use a calculator a lot and sometimes it's kind of hard to use my phone and my computer when I'm also doing like other things on there and so I just wanted like an old school calculator and yeah I think it's gonna be perfect. All right so that's my little Amazon haul today and I have just like a couple more minutes I think. I have like 20 minutes before I have to go get the kids. So I'm going to work a little bit more on this notion thing, put all this stuff away and yeah. And then I'll check in with you guys tomorrow, which is the last day of this week, but, um, I'm sure I can get a whole bunch done tomorrow. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey friends, it is the next day. It is a little later than normal for me to get into the studio and start working. It's already hot. <laughs> One thing about living here in Hawaii is there's no air conditioning and so we have the windows open all day and when there's no breeze, it gets really hot. I don't know if you can see, I'll try to see if I can show you Mauna Kea, which is right behind me. Let's see together. All right. You can kind of see this little mound. That is Mauna Kea, which is a volcano here on the big island. And I'm so lucky I get to see this every day looking out my window. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have been um, learning how to illustrate. And look at this little design. How cute. 
I love it. It's been so fun to kind of just experiment and see where it takes me. It just makes me smile. It's so pretty. Oh, here we go. Back to work. <laughs>